can you relate to, to what I'm going to share now? Everywhere I go, we've been to the West, in the West, all right? In America, in the UK, in Europe. I hear Christians asking today, where's the power? Yeah. I mean, true. where's the power? Where is this power of God in our lives? The real question, the better question might be, where is the understanding of authority? Romans 13, verses 1 to 2 says, Every person, talking about us, the believers, is to be in subjection to the governing authorities. For there is no authority except from God. And those which exist are established by God. Therefore, whoever resists authority has opposed the ordinance of God. And they who have opposed will receive condemnation upon themselves. That, that's Romans, but you can look in 1 Timothy, you can look at Titus, you can look in 1 Peter, you can look in Hebrews, you can look in Colossians, it's on and on and on about how we are to be submitted to authority. Now, that would include speed limits, taxes, parking rules. It would include your boss at work and horror of horrors. It would include wives being in subjection to their husbands and children being subject to their parents and teachers. And yes, it includes husbands being submitted to God and loving their wives as Christ loved the church. And by the way, those words of Paul were written during the time of the reign of Nero Claudius Caesar Augustus Germanicus, better known just as Nero, the infamous Nero, who lit up the night sky by burning Christians. Be submitted. Because what it says, Jesus said in the Gospel of Luke, Luke 16, 10, He who is faithful in a very little thing is faithful also in much. And he who is unrighteous in a very little thing is unrighteous also in much. Be faithful in the little things. Rebellion can never be excused. The prophet Samuel said to Saul, the first king of Israel, as the Lord is much delight in burnt offerings and sacrifices as in obeying the voice of the Lord. Behold, to obey is better than sacrifice. Right? Amen. Saul lost his ministry. He lost his authority. He lost his power because he rejected God's authority. And his rebellion led him farther astray to even greater depths when he started, this is spiritual depravity, when he turned to the witch of Endor. And in Deuteronomy 18, 10, 12, it says, There shall not be among, found among you anyone who makes his son or daughter pass through the fire, one who uses divination or practices witchcraft. Saul did. And as Samuel the prophet said to him, The Lord has departed from you and has become your adversary. 1 Samuel 28, 16. The Lord watches over his word to perform it. Amen. One of the reasons that we are not seeing the power of God or maybe you're not seeing the power of God in your life is because you're speeding on the motorway. One of the reasons you may not be seeing the power of God is because you, you park where you shouldn't be parking illegally. And God is looking down at these little things and saying, well, if he's unfaithful in those little things, I can't trust him with the big things. And God withholds the power. Now, that sounds silly. Trust me, it is not. I just said to it, I was doing a teaching over in England across the other side of the Irish Sea, not long ago. And I said to people, the reason you're not seeing the power of God in your lives is because you're speeding on the motorway. Now that sounds silly, test it against the Word of God. Test it about against the things that I've just read to you here. Test it and see if God, and think, should God trust you if you show yourself to be untrustworthy in the little things. I want to see the power of God in my life. I want to see the power released for the glory of God. I want to see the power of God released to touch lives around us with the good news of Jesus Christ. This is a dark and dying world. And trust me, we've seen a lot of it. I mean, we've traveled, you know, I, I was just saying the other day, so far this year, Alice and I, I think we've been to 20 of the United States, and we've been to 13 or 14 countries so far this year. So we've seen a lot of different Christianity. And the simple fact of the matter is, it's not exciting what we're seeing. 
But it is truly exciting when you see somebody faithfully living it, that bond servant of the Most High God. Be faithful in the little things. God wants to give you power. He wants you to operate in your faith with the authority that He's given you for the glory of His name.